Hey everyone, I'm Jay. Today we're watching the ninth episode of Kanata no Astra. Oh boy, last episode we met uh, Polina, who uh, had this like outburst about something with Earth, and it th didn't happen apparently after her, what was it, 12 year hibernation? And then we got a bombshell dropped on us at the end of the episode that Kitari and Phoenicia are the same person. They're like clones. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, this is, I cannot wait. Let's watch. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh huh. Interesting. <laughs> So nine revelation, really? Oh boy. <laughs> no. Oh, so you put it all together? Everyone, oh my god, they're all clones! No freaking way. <laughs> freaking bug. Get it, got him. All right, there we go. All right, now a decent look at them. Yeah, they do kind of look like their parents. Yes. Mm-hmm, I called that. Nailed, nailed the theory. Oh, that is that is the connection. Okay. Yes! Damn, I love it! Freaking nailed it! Freaking immortality. Look who's original. Oh. Okay.
<laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, that's what, that's what Foodie is? It can't be found. Ah, oh, that's the full tie in. Okay, got it. Love it. <laughs> Spare cash. Oh, the friggin' wormhole? Damn, so they're all clones to transfer their memories to. Wow. I was requested with Luca. <laughs> He's a little nutty. I was gonna say, fitting of an artist. <laughs> Makes sense. Zach, yup. Of course, fulfill his, fulfill his dream. Damn. Damn. What else is going to happen when they get back? Yeah. Mm hmm Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I did catch a single parent thing. Mm-hmm. 
ourselves. Ruin everything. <laughs> so that's how it works under the law, yeah. Nice! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Little bug, go away. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Yup, this is true. <laughs> Good. It's a weird looking strawberry. <laughs> nice flesh, you just what? <laughs> Okay, sure. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> wiggle, wiggle. So where's Polina in all this? She was not there. And that's why she didn't want her to do anything. Oh my god, that just makes perfect sense now. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Ah, there she is. I wonder where she was at. Mm hmm. She's definitely adopted. <laughs> she doesn't have pink hair, it can't be her clone. <laughs> right? Oh. Mm -hmm. She has a different personality. Okay. What, Zach? What? What? What, Kitari? What? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you freaking out? Calm down, Aries. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> These explosions. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What image? Oh, nice. So I'm gonna happen. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? It's not Earth? What? The hell? Wait, what? No! Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Another freaking twist! Oh my. Oh. Just when I thought I had it all figured out. Because my freaking theory for the for episode 8 and what exactly was going on was pretty freaking close. I'm very proud of that. that I, I got most of it correct. I, I still couldn't figure out the adoption part. Made sense now. Makes perfect sense now. They were adopted out, so they didn't get attached to the to their clones. Makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. And yeah, and everything it all tied together. Oh my god, it tied everything together beautifully. I am so proud of myself right now. I don't care if I toot my own horn. I nailed it. I nailed that freaking thing. Um, but it's not Earth. Are you kidding me? So something did happen to Earth, and it's only been what twelve years. All right, that, that just totally throws a wrench into everything I, that I was thinking of. Like, what could what could it possibly be then? 
what happened to Earth? And how do these pe kids not know in 12 years? They're older than 12 years. They're much older than 12 years. They're more, they're like 15, 16, right? Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, Earth is gone. That's my assumption. That means all these people are clone? Or is everyone on the planet a clone? And you can't have more than yourself? Maybe so the people from Earth cloned themselves, some them found, and they found another planet based on Polina's data that her crew got? No, it'd have to be a different crew that got it, because they disappeared. They didn't come back. Everyone's an alien, man. Everyone is a freaking alien on that planet. They're clones of aliens. <laughs> Alright, I have to think on this one. I might do another... Think of uh, more theories and do another video for it. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god, though. that what That is ridiculous. It's not freaking Earth. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Astra is, uh, start? Astra, yeah, Astra is start. Starting plant, makes sense. Huh. Wait, no, it's not start. I'm trying to figure out the acronym because it's Astra is two ways. What the hell is it then? I don't know. Whatever. I'll, I'll think about that later. I'm just freaking trying to figure out what the hell is up with Earth and why is it now Astra? And what the hell happened to their planet 12 years ago or within the past 12 years? What happened, right? And that these kids don't know about it. Even if they're clones, they would still know. It's not like they grew up outside the planet, right? They grew up on this planet. Because otherwise there would be memory manipulation. And this guy's not doing it. He's doing memory uh, transferring or cloning or whatever. God, I don't, I don't know. I, this is just mind blown. Polina blew my mind once again. But they are all clones, okay? And they're all trying to do uh, I, like I, I use the term immortality in my other thing. Their term of rejuvenation, I think, is a much better term than uh, immortality because it's not really immortality. It's sort of like immortality, but it's really not rejuvenation. Much better term for it. So, uh, yeah, damn, that's just. just I love this series so much. Holy crap. Yeah. Let me know what you thought. Bye-bye. <laughs>